welcome back to friend Bo. Let's continue, shall we? These are friend's stockings. Friend Shu. What are friend's shoes? Ah, what an ugly tree. I scratch you, evil thing. Kitty, kitty, stop it. What are you talking about? Friend, my darling, is that you? It can't be. What is it, my dear? Of course it's me. Who else would I be? Friend, you are a tree. Don't be silly. Help me get up. Wait just a second. Where are my hands? Why can't I move? I'm telling you, my dear, you're turned into a tree. What? But how? Oh, my dear, this is the end of the line. The big monster did this. I know it, Kitty. He won't let us go home. I hope he doesn't come back. He was very scary. He always comes back. I think I remember him from that night. The night Mom and Dad died. Kitty, I don't want to talk about it. I just want to go home. But you are a tree, my friend. A tree! I can't carry you all the way back home. Besides, I'm not sure where we are either. Am I going to die, Kitty? Tell me. Please don't say that, friend. Don't leave me! But I feel so weak. Oh! Honka igni mihola! Koki koki igruma! Pasgu hala ni! Igni jokul vanti! Ay! Ah, be careful, sir! Why are you attacking me? Can you please tell me where I am, sir? Hola, koki, hola! Stop it or I'll scratch you! Hola, run me! Igni! What are they saying? Oh my kitty, why is this happening to us? Hola! Stop attacking me, please. I mean no harm. Hola, Igni Vanti! Kitty, help me. Find my purse, please. Maybe I can do something about this. I'll see what I can do, friend. Stop attacking my friend, carrot. No vegetables sitting on a boat. Oh, there's my, there's Fran's purse. I've seen similar mechanics. They circulate. I see my friend's purse. I can reach it somehow. Okay, maybe if you just let me... Oh dear, I hope you found the purse already. I found the purse, but I can't reach it. Why not? Oh dear, do something. There's a bridge, a l and lots of water, and the bridge doesn't seem to work properly. Oh, that's just perfect. We'll make it work. I can't really help you from here. There are some round things. I keep rolling back. Well, do something so they won't roll back then. There's something I can have. Well, a strange shape. What is it? There's something... Oh. oh, I'll take the stone. It's very shiny. I got the purse. Only because I'm the best. Onam ni haka a runma paskin alato. Huh, where are you taking me, sir, vegetable? We want to help you, friend. I could feel it. Uki ranma apo. Don't be afraid, my friend. Kitty, stop them, please. Don't leave me. I'll be right here with you. Galma, galma. Chapter 3, The Vegetative 
state. Itmen bal makast bezar nihara onum. Ishmao, Ipten Gorska, Intan El Frau. Gorska Zer Ao. I'm hoping, like, when I say some of these words, they're not like. <laughs> words or versions of from different language. Yeah. Welcome, creature. My name is Zer. Do you speak human? Oh my goodness, yes, finally, words I understand. My good friend Ride told me that you showed him an illustration with four humans and a cat. I assume you're one of them, the little girl. Please forgive my good friend he, if he scared you. We have never seen a human looking like a tree before. Yes, let me explain it to you. Oh, ho, ho, no need to speak, my child. The seed will grow, will show me everything. Ipten muskat ekal ekal bro ektar prot. Hmm, let me see. You're good, no doubt about that. A seeker of truth. Very common of the Bow family tree. Ah, your name is Fran. You're the girl with a passion for life. I see great love towards this little creature standing next to you. A cat, protector of gates. Interesting. Can you see all of that in the seed? Be quiet. I see something else. The seed doesn't hide anything. I see a world nobody should see. Nobody except for one. What do you mean by except for one? You mean the monster? You're not supposed to be here, Fran. That is the only thing I could tell you, my child. I understand, but can you help me then? We can't let you leave now. It's too dangerous for us. We should never have been aware of your existence. There must be a way. Am I dead or something? Dead? What do you mean by that? You know when you no longer exist. Besides, it's not normal to be a tree. I must be dead. Death is nothing more than the absence of love. Once you can't feel love, you die, even if your body still walks. I still love, still feel love for my kitty. I can't be dead. Please help me. Little cat, come closer. Let me see you. What is your name? My name is Mr. Midnight. That is indeed a very pretty name. Do you think Fran should go back home? Yes, I do, sir. Show us the way back home. I implore you. Ah, I have a question. Are you the king? Ha <laughs> ha, you are hilarious. Yes, I am the king, the king of Ethersta. Oh, what an honor, your highness. By the way, I like your leaves. They're very tea. King, sir, please will you help me? Why is this need to, to go home so great? The seed told me a story. You don't have much to go back to. There are many reasons, sir. But the most important is my aunt. She will protect me. I want to feel like somebody cares about me. I'm confused almost all the time, and I want to be someplace where I feel at home, sir. I see. You are very brave. I just want to go home. Please help me. There are things I cannot do, but I will help you. I will lead you to the door that will take you home, but it's up to you to walk through it. Really? Oh, thank you so much. And where is this door, sir? We'll talk about that later. First things first, you must be able to talk and walk on this land. Yes, sir. That would be really great. I'm afraid I won't be able to bring your human body back. Only the great wizard can do that. We'll talk more about him after the procedure. You must first understand our language. But how will I ever understand your language? Eat this fruit. Your ears and tongue will be able to understand. But not your eyes. That means you won't be able to read. Don't worry about that. I can always ask. Excuse me. Do you understand what I'm saying, human lady? Yes, I do. And you sound so kind. This is incredible. Do you understand, my kitty? I didn't. Your Highness, I demand one fruit for myself. You don't need the fruit, Mr. Mad Knight. Our land is based on fragrances and sound. You'll see everything as your own world very soon. No doubt about it. You'll do fine, kitty. And sir, do you know why I became a tree? Yes, but I don't think I'm the right one to give you the answers. Now it's time for the procedure. Are you afraid of heights? A little, yes, I get dizzy. Why? Take her upstairs immediately. All right, where are you taking me? What are you going to do to me? To get some arms and legs, everything will be fine. I'll be waiting for you, friend. I love you. It's a sassy leg there.
Goodbye, sassy legs. Good day. My name is Palantras, and I'm your doctor today, humbly at your service. Are you the emergency case? Wow, amazing. What a huge, beautiful, fluffy thing. Excuse me? Oh, I'm sorry. It's just that I've never seen anything like you before. I'm still trying to understand that all of this is real. My name is Fran. I'm a human girl. The king sent me here to get some arms and legs so I can go home. Oh, a human! I think we can get you a pair of arms and legs. But we'll have to travel a little bit further in order to fix that. Are you ready to enter the paws of the beast? What beast? Me. I'm the beast. Let's go! Here we are! Wow, this place is so beautiful and peaceful. I wish I could stay here forever. Thank you. This is my home. This is where I was born. The spirit of the great Vulcus created it. It has the purest water in the whole universe. Oh, wow, that sounds amazing. Who is the great Vulcus? Haven't you heard about the five realities? He's the king of the first reality. A long time ago, he was at war with darkness, and one day he fell. He fell so badly, his heart was broken. He was all alone. But he came to a thirsta, and his blood made this water pink. That's why it's so pure. It's a very long story. Oh, that sounds so grand. I mean, I did know about other realities. And how is that you're here? What brought you to a thirsta? My kitty and I were on our way back home. I was so happy to see him, and we hugged him again. But then we fell. The big monster that followed me did this. He broke the bridge and wants me dead. Who would like to see you dead? That sounds terrible. I prefer not to talk about this, but Sir Doctor, do you know why I became a tree? Yes, sometimes our wishes are too strong that they become true. You did this in order to keep yourself alive. Think about it this way. Your human body was destroyed, but you wanted to keep being, Fran. You wanted to keep your life. So you took on this empty shell to maintain all your precious memories. This is actually the first time I've seen a human using a tree as a chrysalis. But it's dangerous to have you here. It makes your land vulnerable. I did this to myself? Wow. But, Paul sir. How? I didn't know I was doing anything. You really didn't know what you were doing. I see. Well, when you travel to a third star, you open the door between your reality and ours. And with this door open, unexpected creatures can also enter our reality. Damn, I'm doing a lot of talking this episode. And if that happens, the balance will be tainted. And there is only one who wishes to poison the second reality. The monster, the terrible black. I can't see this happening again. I just can't. Don't be sad, Doctor. I'm very sorry for what I did. I didn't mean to. Oh, little girl, you're so nice. And you don't have anything to be sorry for. I think you're very special, but let's concentrate on your arms and legs, alright? Mm, yes, Doctor. Soldiers of the sun. Spirits of the water, give Fran her arms and legs. How do you feel, Fran, from the first step? Wow, I feel like a beautiful tree. I have leaves. I'm glad you like it. I told you we would fix it. This water is magical. It can fix everything. A anything? Do you think it can fix my mommy and daddy? What do you mean, fix them? What's wrong with them? Nothing, doctor. Thank you very much for helping me. You're the best doctor I've I ever had, and you're fluffy and beautiful. I had another doctor before. His name is Dr. Dern. He was an evil old man. An old man, hmm? I bet he wasn't that bad. Maybe he was just following the rules. Let's go now. I'll leave you at the station. Is he gonna have a picture of her flying in the air with him? No? Okay, that's fine. Here we are again. Show Zah the king what a nice Esther sneeze you become. I think I said that right. Thank you again, doctor. You'll have to meet my kitty someday. That would be lovely. I'll see you soon. Goodbye. You fluffy kitty. Ah, do you like that? Ha <laughs> ha. Here I am. Brad, my dear, you got leaves on your head. How pretty. Oh, let me see you. What a great Esther sneeze you'll become. Thank you, King Sir. The doctor is incredible. He made magic with the water. But he was sad. He told me many things, but I didn't quite understand. Don't worry. Palanches will be fine. I know the reasons. We have some problems to solve, but that's nothing you should worry about. Let's talk about how you can get back home, right? 
Yes, please. You said something about a great wizard. Yes, the great wizard is the only one who can bring your human body back. And he was the stones to open the door that would lead you home. Where's the wizard? What stones? This land is full of things I don't understand. Oh, jeez. Excuse me. Haha! <laughs> you haven't even been outside this castle and you already want to know everything. That's the passion I was talking about. Have patience, friend. The great wizard lives upon the great Mount Culture, But we haven't seen them for a while now. Find him and everything will be just fine. Why haven't you tried to find the great wizard yourself? Well, we don't need to. It's very logical. You see, we don't need a wizard to perform magic or prepare potions. We can do that ourselves. The wizard's most important task is to protect the stones that open the door. I see. So the stones are like keys. And where is this mountain you mentioned? You'll have to ask around. Follow the signs. I have to go now, but I'll be back in time to help you with the door. Have a great Thursday day, and good luck finding the great wizard. Wow, did you see that huge fluffy creature kitty? That's Polonchus. He fixed me. Yes, it's certainly very fluffy. Oh, I forgot. Here's your purse. Oh, thank you, kitty. Did you see my pills anywhere? I don't think so. They Maybe they're on the other side of the lake, next to your clothes. Um, well, we have other things to do anyways. We have to find the wizard. Yes, the king said something about a mountain, too. Yes, Mount Cotram. The great wizard lives there. Let's go! Oh, my voice! <laughs> Hold on, I need I need a drink of water after that. Oh, jeez, my controller almost fell off. Oh my gosh, that was a lot of reading. I wonder why they have them. The king's throne. I wonder if it's comfortable. I wonder why the kings are always sitting down. Hey! Sexy legs! No, no, you can't get in. It's closed. Oh, it's closed? I didn't know. What's well, at the end of this passage? Well, the library, of course, but it's closed. Come back in the fall or the winter, then it will be open. Hey, aren't you the talking tree I took to Palantris? Yes, that's me. Palantris gave me arms and legs. Yes, and also a head. That's very positive. <laughs> yes, but why is the library closed, sir? Well, that's logical. As the sun goes around and the second moon of Thursday we open. Only then we will, will the not real knowledge be learned. And it only happens in the fall and winter. Oh, so you don't learn anything while the summer or spring? Of course we learn. We're learning all the time. I'm learning now that you like that you like to ask many questions. Well, I'm curious, that's why. Everything looks so different here in the Thursday. I guess you're not from around here. Well, I hope to see you soon. Yes, thank you, sir. Bye. Okay, so we're not able to enter until a different time, so I'm guessing we're going to screw with time. But that's going to be it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it like I did, and I hope to see you next time. Bye bye